Hi there, I'm Buddha, and you're watching Dr. Guitar, a show for all you guitarists out there. Today's episode is about the Boss FRV-1. It is a reverb emulation pedal from Boss, emulating the Fender uh, Tube Reverb, which is a great reverb. It is super simple in controls. It has tone, mixer, and dwell but it's super drastic uh, what, what the knobs can do. I really love it. We'll compare it to, to, the, to the Fender, the Fender Stream Reverb. reverb. Um, a great thing about the pedal is that you can use it on any amp that doesn't have reverb. So I'm using it on the basement, which is a great amp but doesn't have reverb. And I use it a lot in, in this uh, in this way with the Fender Pro Junior uh, or with my Ramtone with a Vox AC30 you, you, with the Marshalls you can have reverb and still have that that character of the amp that isn't a Fender but you can make it sound like a Fender great super spring reverb so let's move on to the pedal I'm turning it off and this is the amp sound with the reverb we're immediately on surf territory surfing but uh, it's with the dwell all the way up let's set the mix a, a lot uh, quieter <laughs> So even with the mix turned really low, uh, the pedal does its magic. Let's let's hear it um, on and off. Gives you some space. Some it fills up the space on, in the notes, and it's super bluesy. The tone control. 
lets you uh, I'm using it down but if you if you turn it up it's really bluesy and bright really Albert Collins sounding we need a little more treble and a little more sustain from the end So the tone up. change it well. Not only it sounds good, <clears throat> great, but it feels great. Uh, I always forget that I'm using a pedal. It seems like an amp reverb. And for those of us who could be concerned uh, of using a reverb in front of the of the amp with the amp overdriving, which which it is overdriving, the basement is. <laughs> It is overdriving, not too much, but it is overdriving. Uh, the reverb behaves really great. For this kind of rock and roll riffing, we should probably back off the mix. Probably even the tone. <laughs> 
And it even smooths out the tone as a, a tube spring reverb does. When you when you use the reverb, it kind of uh, smooths the attack, the transient. Uh, this does it all. Uh, it's it's really a great great tool. Let's use it at the minimum setting as possible. If you back the tone, the reverb sounds a lot warmer and a lot uh, less obvious. Open the tone. A little more. So you can even decide on having less mix, I mean having more of the dry sound and uh, opening the tone so that the reverb will be brighter and it's, it will be, um, you will hear it more, but it won't be uh, as much obvious in the mix. Or you can use a lot of blend and really darken the, the, the tone so the reverb will really blend with your tone. We open up, it will be too much. We can cut the blend. drive as much. tone all the way up it's the 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 surf uh, 
setting, the surf guitar setting, which, which is really bright and really spanking, really twangy. <coughs> Let me just... <coughs> Let's compare the the Boss FRV1 with the reverb on the Fender Twin Reverb. Okay, I've set the Twin Reverb with the Reverb on 6, kind of on 6, and it's clean, it's a Twin Reverb. <laughs> twin Reverb, Reverb? Boss. Do 
Yeah, the Twin River has a, a warmer river. It's longer, and it's too, and it's better. <laughs> uh, I think they are they are different. The the Twin River is a lot a lot warmer, a lot more vintagey feel. Um, although I on, I have only noticed it by doing this comparison side by side. Um, and as I told you when I when I showed you the the Twin Reverb on the episode about the Twin Reverb, every amp that has a tube circuit reverb on it adds another tube circuit to the tone. So you have kind of an, another pre, another tube, or another set of tubes uh, into your tone. So usually change the tone of the amp, and that's what what happens with the Twin. It, it gets um, fatter and warmer. And overdriven. This is a twin. I have him. I have it probably since '95, or I don't remember, but mid '90s. And I've never changed the tubes, so the tubes are really old. Asking for, for forgiveness and begging me to let them die, but I'm not letting the tubes die. Because this twin sounds so good, I'm afraid of changing the tubes and killing the mojo. So they stay on until they stop playing. The boss pedal uh, sounds really great too. It, it's uh, it's less muddy. Sometimes the, the reverb on the twin reverb can be a little too muddy. Well, that's it. I hope you have liked the show. If you haven't done it yet, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and join the family. We'll see each other next week. Bye-bye.